right, so we back with another video. T yesterday was Christmas. I gave y'all a lot of calls in that video. Gave y'all the best way to get y'all bills up. Today, I'm getting y'all boys right with the animations. I know I just updated this for y'all, but we giving y'all a full revamp, giving y'all the best totality animations in NBA 2K23. Now, I got a lot of stuff in store for y'all this week. We're going to be doing testing viral NBA 2K glitches this week. Like I said, if you guys want me to go over the best takeovers, the best badges, best setup like I did beginning of this season, since we are at the halfway point and a lot of new people on the game, let me know. I can do that. But what I really have planned for y'all, I'm pretty much going to give y'all the animations today, give y'all the extra badge uh, tutorial for current gen and next gen. And I'll probably get y'all like another thing that's gonna be special. So yeah, y'all want that? Put that in the comments down below. It's gonna be a call within the videos for the rest of the week. So stay tuned if you guys do it. It's not gonna be as many as yesterday. But yeah, stay tuned if you guys do want that. If you guys want more, like, subscribe. Without further ado though, let's hop into it. Let's go! Alright, so first things first, when it comes to the best animations, I could have did this in a lot of grimy ways, but I'm gonna put the timestamps if I remember. If I don't, put it in the comments down below to uh, put it. But I got y'all if y'all do, do remind me if I forget. But yeah, first things first is going to be the jump shots. Now, the way I usually do this, I do go through each build, but I'm not doing all that. I'm going to just tell you guys what's the best jump shots. Give y'all a brief annotation over that. Give y'all the best releases. Give y'all the best blendings for all these different builds. Because the way it works on this game is you got guards, wings, and bigs. Guards is 6 for 4 and under. Wings, 6 for 5 to 6 10, 6 9. And then Biggs is 6'10 and up. So that's how we're going to break it down. So for the best guard jump shots, you got LaMelo Ball, Stephen Curry. Those are the two best ones in the game. You got a lot of other ones that you can go with. I'm sure people will put in the comments down below what they would recommend. But those are the two best ones in the game. Now, um, when it comes to the wings, the two best ones in the game is LaMelo Ball again. Probably catching on. And Kuzma. Now, of those two, my favorite one. Kyle's Kuzma. Now, there are again more extra ones you can go with. Even I would probably give you guys some of recommend on jump shot videos, but this is not a jump shot video. But I will give you guys some extra ones for the guards in the wings since I am thinking of a lot right now. Cole Anthony is a really decent one that a lot of people love to recommend. And for the wings, I would say be Elisa. Now, a lot of people, others say Brissette. I'm not a Brissette guy. I'm not really a Lamelo guy either, but. Yeah, it just is what it is. These are the most popular, the best jump shots in the game for a reason. Now, if you are a build that don't really have a jump shot at all, you see this jump shot I got right here? This is what I use with my no money spent. Build the default swing. Very, very good jump shot. You can get it with a 63 point rating. So yeah, now, when it comes to the bigs. The bigs, Bielisa is again another option. Brissette is again another option. So if you want to go with a good jump shot for bigs, I would say those two. Lethal Shooter is again an option. Now, Lethal Shooter has been an option for the guards, the wings, and the bigs. That's literally probably the only jump shot in the game that you can use at all three phases. Now, with that being said, or only good one, should I say. Now, with all that being said, there are some other ones you can use on bigs. Chris Bosch is a really pretty auto one. But yeah, I would say Brissette and Bielisa are the two you probably should go with. And that I would say Brissette probably is the popular of the two. Now, when it comes to releases. Now, releases, let me show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and throw on Kuzma because this is what I use. I use Kuzma. I'm a Kuzma guy. I'm a big Kuzma guy. But the way I go about my releases, I go with um, my fastest, better release as my tier. Or not my tier, my upper release. So what I would go if I'm a guard or a wing. I would go with Oscar Robinson. Now, if you're a big, you're going to be putting Kelly Olynyk here. Now, Kelly Olynyk, in my opinion, is the best and fastest release you can go for big. It's kind of like the Oscar Robinson for bigs. Now, the thing about Oscar Robinson for wings and guards, it actually gives you the best at stats as well. Not just making it the fastest, it also gives you the best stats when it comes to release height, defense immunity, release speed. Just that simple. Now, when it comes to release two, if you are a guard, you can go with Matt Thomas, Stephen Curry. Those are very good ones. If you're a wing, you're going to go with Klay Thompson, uh, Jason Tatum, Larry Bird. Those are the ones I would go with. Now, the ones that's really the most consistent for me, I'm going to go with Thompson. That's probably the one I favorite because that's what I've used my whole 2K life. Um, usually what I would do is Rudy Gay, Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson has always been my release two. That's what I'm going to stay with. Now, um... 
if you are a big, you're gonna go with like Tim Duncan, Kevin Love, and the other one is slipping my mind, but Tim Duncan, Kevin Love, oh, no, Dirk Nowitzki, that's what it is. I forgot it in the last video, I didn't forget it here. Dirk Nowitzki is the other release you would go for if you are a big man. Dirk Nowitzki, upper release two, probably one of the best upper release in the entire game, whether you're a guard, a wing, or a big. But yeah, um, Tim Duncan probably does have better stats to go along with Kelly Olynyk. Now, with that being said, when it comes to the blending, Release speed, always gonna go max. Now, the release speed is not as big of a deal on this game because you do have a release height, defensive immunity, release speed, and timing impact. So if release speed being max is too fast for you, we got other ways to go about that. I'm gonna show you guys. Now, animation blending, what I like to do is, you like, you, when I said that you wanna put your first release as whatever one is the faster one. That's what I do. Now, you can do it vice versa so if you went with us robinson as an upper release one and you like it at two just put it to two and put the other one as your one it's really not that big of a deal but the thing is whatever one is the better release you're gonna blend it to that release so for me since oscar one is the one i wanted to blend it to because it's faster i'm gonna go towards oscar now the thing i would say is you're gonna go 50 50 60 40 75 25 or 85 15 now for some of these releases as well you're gonna just try to get as much of that release just to be able to have the best attribute or grades possible because attributes shy attributes do matter but at the same time they don't so yeah I, I, I just want you to understand that now so when it comes to this the best release probably for this not even um what's it called the best release for um this one would be larry bird you see how I now have an A minus with pretty much the same stuff. It's just because Larry Bird is just like that. I don't know what I don't know what to really tell you. Now, the highest I can even get would be this. So I probably have to go like 85-15. So 85-15 would probably be the stats I would have to go with, which is what I usually go with when I have it vice versa. Now, like I said, these options of releases that I gave you are gonna be better depending on the base. So like if you go with a, a Lamelo, the Lamelo may be having Thompson as a better release than Larry Bird. But it's really on you. You don't even have to worry about the shot attributes because I've shown this many times in videos that the shot attributes can kind of be capped. So you can't always base it based on the shot attributes. So yeah. But yeah, when it comes to the guards, wings, and bigs, the best blendings, like I said, 85, 15. People were saying I didn't talk about blendings in the last one. I did. I just didn't do it step by step. But I did discuss it. 85, 15, 75, 25, 60, 40, and 50, 50. And I'm always blending it more towards whichever one is the faster release so say for instance like i said oscar for guards and wings is the fast one i'm blending it towards that like i said kelly olenic is the fast one for bigs i'm big blending it towards that now but i would say for guards guards i like doing 75 25 wings i like doing 85 15 and 75 25 bigs i either do 50 50 or 60 40. that's kind of what i would say i'll do it like that but It can be either or two sometimes, so I just want to make sure that's out there too. Now, real quick, when it comes to the people that really feel like the jump side is too fast for you. Now, I was streaming the other day, and I was showing you guys this, so let me remember to not change this. I was showing you guys this for a video, and I left it at very late. You want to put this shot time and release time to whatever, like, if you feel like your jump shot's too fast, and you're using late, you're going to go very late. Because when you spawn, it's going to be in late. If you're just getting game because you're a Christmas noob, you spawn, it's gonna be on late. Now, with that being said, if you are a noob, I would go early. When you first get on the game, I would go early. That's what I've been using. Now, there are people that do use late. Whatever you use, you're gonna get used to whatever that is. I've been using early since the beginning of the game. I'm thinking about now going to late because early does kind of have these change. There's so many different changes in shot timing. The only thing is, I don't like slow jump shots. So, that can throw me off a lot but what i say is early has been what i've used you can go late but honestly you're gonna have to get used to it now um what 2k said at the beginning of the year or what people were saying 2k said i don't even remember now at this point but this is like season one people were saying the older 2k's every previous 2k was pretty much on early timing now mike wing has came back and said that there was supposed to be a normal so it was supposed to be five different ones but they ended up not doing normal i don't know what 2k beyond but it is what it is. But yeah, those are the four different times you can go very early, early, late, or late, very late. Now, this is very confusing what I'm going to say. These do not change the timing of the jump shot. It doesn't. So pretty much all this is is for the release. So you're going to hold the X button 
for whatever the shot timing release is. But the actual jump shot, the base will not change. The only thing that's going to change is the release. And when I'm saying the release, the up release one and the up release two. And it's going to either be very early, very late, late or early. Hopefully that doesn't confuse anybody. Hopefully y'all understand that. I'm going to leave it at that. I'll go any further. I feel like I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to confuse somebody. So I was checking my analytics. Even with 100K, we still have 80% of you guys not subscribed. I don't know what else I got to do. Now, if you guys want to get more in touch with me, you can join the Discord. But how you watching my videos and not subscribe? Subscribe! It's that simple. Uh, I got all my build and all my animations going. So I've probably been playing with no animations. <laughs> Great. Love it. When love it. Love it when 2K does that. I just love it. You know, I just I just love that. You know, I just love that. But let's go ahead and get into the best dribble styles. Dress dribble styles in the game. Best one in the game right now, today, Kobe Bryant. I think Kobe Bryant is going to be the best one the whole year. That's why the 6-6s six are kind of taking a jump. And I think Kobe Bryant is going to be the best one for the year. I'm going to be honest. It's pretty much like the 2K21 speed glitch. I'm going to be honest. 2K is a W for adding this in the game as a dribble style because it's going to make people make a lot less 6 nines and a lot smaller builds. It's a W. I'm going to be honest. But um, a lot of the best builds don't even really get it. Only ones that get it is 6-6s six and shorter height now so you will really only be like a 6-1 6-3 or i guess 6-1 six, 6 or anything 6-6 six, six and under i guess you can say now when it comes to the 6 foot 7s and up which i think 6 foot 7s are going to take a jump i just dropped a video on them if you haven't seen that go watch that if you need a build that's not a 6-9 but if you got anything else you're going to go with pretty much one of these lower pro Allen iverson michael jordan chris paul you can't get because you're not under 6-5 and yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Now, people be saying Gabby Williams, Gabby Williams, Gabby Williams, Gabby Williams is the best one in the game. Um, I was supposed to be trying. I was. I'm not gonna lie. I was supposed to be using this. I don't. I don't. I don't actually remember why I'm not using it. But yeah. Um, what I would say is, in order of this, Kobe Bryant is the best one. The next best one will be Stephen Curry. Then after that, it's a toss up. Either you can go Michael Jordan. Or Allen Iverson. One of those two are, 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 I guess, Chris. it would be Chris Paul next. Chris Paul would be the next one after Curry. After Chris Paul, it would be Michael Jordan or Allen Iverson. It really on to you. I would probably say Michael Jordan. Then I would probably say Allen Iverson. Um, Zach Levine is more for getting threes. I don't even remember what LeBron was. I was using it like the best was like the first one because I thought, I think it's like power. Um, Damian Lillard is not bad, but it's like misdirection speed boosting. It's not like you can't go the same way as where you're dribbling to in speed boost. You have to go the opposite way that makes sense so yeah it's really misdirection only speed boosting um magic johnson also has one that's not terrible um it's good for like protecting the ball so if you don't want to get ripped a lot just use magic johnson um but it's not gonna be the fastest speed boost that's what i'll say um and then gabby williams and pro are pretty much the one or gabby williams is the one that people always recommend me when i say pro is the best one if you don't get a 75 plus speed ball so use gabby williams or pro all right next is the signature size -up. now when it comes to best signature size ups I would say Steve Francis is the best one, but you only need an 85, but you have to be under six foot five. Um, and then Trey Young is another one that's really good, but you need a 92 plus ball handle and you have to be under six foot five. Now, for the people that can't get the under six foot five ones, I would say Tracy McGrady would be that next one that's really, really good. If you're not getting Tracy McGrady, then I would probably put on De'Aaron Fox, but you only need an 80 plus ball handle. Those are the two I would go with. Now, if you're going with the ones that I sold you for six foot five and under, are you going with the ones for 85 and 80 ball handle? Now, if you're not going with those, these are going to be a lot easier and prone to get taken from you. But at that point, you will probably be going with, where is it? I don't even see it. Jalen Suggs. Jalen Suggs is the one I was using at the beginning of the year. It's a lot more obvious of a dribble. I will say that. But you only need a 75. And the little behind the back spam you can do with is really, really glitchy. And it can really like kind of throw you back. Well, that's not really. I was going to say Paul, but that's not really a pause. But yeah, uh, Jalen Suggs is definitely a good signature sizer that you can use on your build. All right, when it comes to the size of escape packages. Now, this is a this is something that can actually get better because the Curry slide has not dropped. Now, Trey Young has dropped, but it's not really like broken, broken. It's good for like misdirection and speed boosting. But if anything, it adds a balance. It's not like broken, broken or anything like that. It's not broken because... You know, we got the adrenaline boost still. Now, there are people that's just like that and just know how to pretty much exploit, I guess, to exploit the adrenaline bars. But 
for the people that's not like that, it's not that big of a deal. But uh, the one I think is the best in the game is Damian Lillard. I think Damian Lillard is the best because not only does it have good crabs, but it also has the hot back, which is very, very broken in this game. Now, if you guys don't care about the hot back and you just want to do the pullback, Go with Trey Young. Trey Young is the best one in the game for you. Easily. He has the best crabs. It has the best speed boost out of crabs. Pretty much the best escape for what it's escaping for. Like when it comes to momentum behind the back. Got a, it got like a kind of off-brand curry slide with it too. So you got all that. But yeah, I would say Trey Young or Damian Lillard is the best one. You got Damian Lillard is kind of like the all-arounder. Trey Young is really like if you want the best of the best animations without having the hot back. It just doesn't have the hot back. That's the only thing holding it back. Now, Kyrie Irving, if you're a dribbler, 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 Kyrie Irving has the hot back as well, but you have to be really like that to use this. I'm going to just say that. Use this at your own risk. Takes a lot more skill than either of the other two, but you actually do get a lot of incentive for using this when you do get good with this. And it also does have the LeBron hot back. So yeah, Kyrie Irving is just as good as the other two. It just takes more skill. Now, when it comes to other ones that you can use, a lot of people like Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant is not crazy to me. It's decent, but it's not crazy. Again, decent, but not crazy. The one I use on this build is LeBron because look at what it says for Kyrie Irving, Damian Lillard, and Trey Young. 92 plus, 90 plus, and 90 plus. Now, Trey Young, you can get this on six for six and below. Nothing above. You can get the Damian Lillard on six for seven and below. Nothing above. So six eights, six nines, you can't get that. But six sevens, you can get Damian. Six sevens, you can get Kyrie. Really, really crazy. Which another thing, well, I think the six sevens are gonna go crazy on this game. Now, when it comes to LeBron, I like LeBron because why? It has the hot back. The hot back is really good. But if you don't care about hot back, go with Paul George for a good dribble. But it takes a little bit more skill and. John Wall, if you like to crab, it's that simple. Nothing else should really even be discussed. That simple. All right, next is going to be the moving crossover. The moving crossover, the best moving crossover in the game is going to go like this. So Chris Paul dropped this year in, or this season, but the last year, this was the best one in the game the whole year. It was either this or John Wall, and it's really because they were the fastest one. Now, the way reason why Chris Paul is so good is because it has the fastest between the legs, and it has a really fast crossover. If you guys want to use this, use this. James Harden and Lonzo Ball are really good for between the legs and crossovers. But if you guys want to actually use a good crossover, not because of how fast the crossover is, you want to use a good between the legs, not because of how fast it is, go with Michael Jordan or LeBron James. That's your more options on the moving crossovers. And also, if you want to make any of these moving da-da-da animations any faster, go with Hyperdrive. You want to make any of those size-up animations any faster, go with Quick Chain. It's that simple. Next is the moving behind the back. For the moving behind the back, the best ones in the game would 100%, in my opinion, be Pro. That's the one I use. If you don't get Pro, go with, I think it's Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry is another one that's really good, but look at what you need. 92 ball handle. Not a lot of y'all going to get that. That point... Go with Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard is the closest thing that we have so far to, like, I guess, Damian Lillard from season one last year. And then Scottie Pippen the rest of the year. But we don't really have anything on that level. So I would say the best one would be Stephen Curry. Then I would go pro. Then I would go Damian Lillard. Then whatever one, which one of these you want to put on, do that with, at your own risk. That's what I'll say. All right, next is the moving spin. The best moving spin in the game, hands down, is basic because you got so many different types of spin backs you can do. Every single spin has a spin back. It's like only that one generic spin back, though. It, basically, you have multiple different types of spin backs you can do. You can do, like, the little spin back Luka. You can do, the, like, the little regular spin back that everybody likes to do. In a, in a, it's really good. But basic is the best one in the game for a reason. Um, the, all the other ones that you see here, Kevin Durant, Penny Hardaway, Luke, LeBron, Nash, are decent if you want like to do more than just spin backs but the only reason i'm putting on spin moving spin is for spin backs so basic is the best one in the game moving hezzy now for the best hezzy luka Doncic is the best one in the game hands down no question if you want to do hezzies like run a certain way do a hezzy and just keep running bro it's so glitchy they have not patched it it's still the glitch hezzy i don't think they're gonna patch it i think they just want a hezzy to be crazy but i'm gonna be honest it's kind of funny that hezzies are good in this game like they are this year with the fact that two, like the nba is really cracking down on a lot of people that carry now people still carry but the fact that they really let you carry as hard as they are in this game is kind of crazy. That's all I'm saying. All right, next is the moving step back. Now, we just got the Jimmy Butler from last year that a lot of people like to spam. But um, the thing is, this year is not as essential because of the fact that Luka is so OP because it doesn't take adrenaline boost where Jimmy Butler blows through adrenaline boost. So 
I would say Luka Doncic is still the best one, especially due to the fact that you can really exploit the game and not take any of your adrenaline boost. So yeah, um, and adrenaline boost, for the people that's new, it's a really big deal. It's not, not like a small issue. It's a really big deal. I don't really fully understand why they did it, but they did it. And it's just something we got to deal with. Um, James Harden is another one I like to use for like the snatch back that it has. Um, you can also do like the little double step back and stuff like that. But Luka is just by far and away the best moving step back in the game. And last but not least, one of the most underrated packages for anything. Not just dribbling anything in the game. Triple threat style. Best one in the game is Michael Jordan. Don't really need to go over it. You can look through it for yourself. It has escape dribble moves, pump fakes, all different type of things in this thing. And I'm telling you really really good michael jordan that's what i would go with and then a new feature i probably actually will drop every single pass style animation in the game on backup i need to go ahead and go crazy on the backup with the, like the dunk animation for next gen i need to go crazy with that but the best pass styles in the game in my opinion this is how it works so uh, somebody said this on my video i pretty much said this but he pretty much broke it down in a way shorter form so when it comes to the pass styles every single pass style gets better but also as your pass actually goes up your passes are going to get better they're going to get faster and they're going to get more accurate so the higher your pass accuracy it's going to be more accurate and faster but the pass styles also are very essential so this is how i look at it if you are a big man the best one in the game is lebron lebron in the game a lot of people think it's the best because it gets it out your hands the fastest so that can be very ideal but when it comes to the certain animations where you are a guard and you're doing a driving kick say for instance the big man helps and he jumps at you and you want to pass to the big man because his man helped you don't want it to go off the big man's face you don't want it to go off his chest which lebron would do that a lot because he just gets it out of his hands as fast as possible he doesn't try to avoid them but LaMelo Ball and Magic Johnson, they have animations where they'll throw it around defenders. They'll throw it around defenders that's in front of you and to the person that you're passing it to. So if people try to cut it off, the passer will actually be smart. So yeah, look, Magic Johnson and LaMelo are, my opinion, the best ones if you're a guard. But you also can go with Jason Williams. But I don't have Jason Williams because it's a 90. It's the only one I haven't really been able to test. But yeah, those are the best pass styles. LeBron gets it out your hands. By far the fastest out of all of them. None is the probably the next closest to how fast it is. But yeah, that's what I would say. And that's what I'm sticking to. All right, next is going to be the best dunk packages. Now, when it comes to the dunk packages, I'm moving off of giving y'all filler. I'm just going to give y'all the best. So when it comes to the best dunk packages, the best dunk packages in the game, easily quick drops off one. You get to a whole nother level when you get limitless takeoff silver. So, yeah, quick drops off one, best dunk package in the game. If you guys want another great dunk package in the game, I don't know why you would want another one for two hands, because the quick drops is the most idle thing in the game. It's not really nothing. You can get taken out this animation a lot more on this one than you will on the quick drops. It's just that simple. Especially when you end up getting, like, silver, gold, Hall of Fame, limitless takeoff on your build. Just want to make sure that's known. But if you do want to go with something else, front clutches, very, very idle. Not as idle, but very, very idle, still the same. Very good. Now... Um, a lot of times I tell y'all straight on Tomas, which is good. It really it is good. But if you guys actually want to have the better, the best animation in the game for dunks is Russell Westbrook. The only thing I'll say about Russell Westbrook in comparing to the straight arm Tomahawks is it'll now give you more two-hand dunk packages. So instead of you doing a quick drop every time or a front clutch, you will now do like a really crazy mean cock back two-hand back scratcher all the way to the back of your ass, crack at your ass, straight to the rim. It'll do that but you get the best one hand dunk package in the game every single time so it's a it's a, it's a win I, and i'm gonna be honest that little two hand doesn't really get blocked it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't i'll say that it, it, it definitely doesn't get blocked but with that being said um you could go with some of these other ones i just don't like them um some people like going with the mj i seen somebody in a wager against tyson dunk from like not even like the free throw line. He wasn't even positioned that way. He was like towards like the, like, uh, I guess coming from the wing. And he dunked, like he did the free throw line dunk. He wasn't at the free throw. Like he did the free throw line dunk from the distance of a free throw, but he came from the wing. I've never seen that. I've literally never seen that before. I've never seen that. But yeah, Michael Jordan is another good one because it does have some pretty unblockable animations in it as well. And you will get a lot of N1s with this dunk package as well because a lot of these animations don't really get blocked for some reason, whatever reason that is. But yeah, that's what I'll say about 
the dunk package. Um, when it comes to big man dunk packages, um, I'm really just a, a one hand under basket regular user, two hand under basket regular user. Those two are just Mr. Autos for me. One hand, cool. Two hands for safety usually works more. I felt myself getting like taking out the animations more with the one hand than I did with the two hands. I guess two hands for safety does stand true when it comes to these. One hand is a little bit faster though, so I do like using that too. But yeah, those are the ones I use for my standing steel dunks. Um, yeah um you do get extra um for doing flashy so if you do want to do f park dunks at the park there is incentive and it's not like you're gonna get blocked every time blocking is not like the craziest thing this year at, like, nearly like it was last year so yeah i would definitely say park dunks are very essential this year um when it comes to content dunks when it comes to content dunks, all you're gonna do is just put as many of these as on as possible to get higher frequency because you're gonna have more animations for more situations depending on where you're coming from and where the defender shall be to trigger said animation so if you have Pro, small, and elite, put on pro, small, and elite. If you have elite and pro, put on pro and elite. If you only have pro, put on pro. It's that simple. Now, if you want rarer ones because you can do it with the meter, just throw on elite if you want the freakiest ones. But again, if you want more animations for more situations, you don't want to see the same thing every single time, put on as many as possible. It's that simple. For alley-oops, best ones, I like to go with elite and Zion. Either you're going elite and Zion, or you're just going with pro. Pro is good, but it's just slow. It's slower than the Elite and the Zion. Zion and Elite are faster and are on the same speed for timing your alley-oops. Pro is just slower. That's the only reason why I say that. But Pro is, is like, if you're big, you have to run Pro. That's the thing. You have to run Pro because it's the only way you can even do standing lobs if you're a big man. So you got to understand that if you're big. Um, elite and Zion are good. Just not on the level. Uh, or I guess they, they are on the level. Pro is, pro is good, it's just not a level of Elite and Zion. That's what I was trying to say. Then when it comes to contact at loops, they don't really have the dunk meter to really bail you out, but I did go over a way for people to actually do a contact lob at a really high rate when I was going over the 99 method. So yeah, you can use that for here. But even still, if your teammate doesn't understand it, they're gonna be the ones throwing you the lobs. Contact at loops, you wanna put on as many of these as possible. If you get the, the Elite, Pro, and Big, put it. Elite, Pro, and Small, put it. Pro and Elite, put it. It's that simple. No confusion there. All right. All right, next is going to be the dribble pull-ups and stuff like that. So when it comes to dribble pull-ups, we're going to be back to going over guards, wings, and bigs. So when it comes to the best guard dribble pull-up, the best guard dribble pull-up, Trey Young. Now, somebody said that the best dribble pull-up in the game is normal too. Probably does have the biggest green window. I tell you all the time, if you don't want your time to change, go with normal, ever. If you don't want it ever to change, go with normal. Whether it's a dribble pull-up, spin jumper, or a hop jumper. Let me make sure that's known. So normal two may be the best one. But... Trey Young, in my opinion, is the best one because he creates the most space and he's going to get a lot more wide opens than any other dribble pull-up in the game. And that's counting even the wings and the bigs. That's simple. Now, if you're a wing, I like using Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is just muscle memory for me. And I'm, I'm going to tell you all the time, if you put on the jump shot, use that the whole year, you're never going to really get it thrown off. Even if they supposedly patch it, nerf it, whatever, you're going to be straight. They don't, they don't nerf jump shots. Now... Um, they did just drop Devin Booker, which is pretty much the Trey Young of the wings. And a lot of people are trying to say it is better than Trey Young. So if you want to use Devin Booker, it is really good. I have a friend that's using it for this season. He's been, he ain't really been able to shoot off the dribble the whole year. He's been shooting off the dribble a lot better lately with this Devin Booker. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely say Devin Booker is definitely like that. Um, so yeah. If you are a big though, Dirk New Whiskey is, is a, available for bigs. If you are a big, um, but if I was a big... I'll probably go with basic. You can't even go with either of one of these because you have to be under 6'10". Um, can KD get it? Oh, you have to be at least 6'5". So I guess you can't use KD. KD is another good option for bigs. But um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all bigs would just use Dirt and Whiskey anyway. All right, next is going to be spin jumpers. When it comes to spin jumpers, the one I like to use is Pro. Pro is like the, the best one in the game for throwing off defenders. So me personally, I'm not just a person that's like Tyson off and do shot creator matches the whole game. But... I like to do it sometimes if I want to throw off a defender. Pro Spin Jumper is the best one in the game to throw off your defender. Say, for instance, though, if you are a person that want to be a shot creator, go with Normal, KD, Allen Iverson, or Dirk. If you're a guard, you're going to be using Allen Iverson or Normal. If you're a wing, you're going to be using Kevin Durant or Normal or Pro. If you're a big, you're going to be using Dirk or Normal or KD. It's really on you what you want to go with. 
those options are there for you. Pro spin jumpers are something that people don't really use nearly as much as the dual pull up or the hop jumper, but these are the options that you can go with and you won't be steered wrong. I'm just gonna say that. All right, next is the hop jumper. Now, I will say this. I, the same person I was playing with for the dual pull up, this is the same person that's using the hop jumper. He's a great, 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 great troll. Let me say that. But he be he been hooping with this he been hooping with this hop jumper. I can't cap. It's really smooth, really nasty. I'm not gonna lie, and it really does get him wide open every single time. I can't lie. I mean, every single time. I don't know what it is. Every single time creates enough space. What I say about Devin Booker, pretty much like the Kyle Lowry for wings. If you don't know what the best hop jumper is for guards, Kyle Lowry is by far the best one in my opinion. If you guys want one that's gonna be like kind of crazy. You can go with Allen Iverson as well. Really crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Really freaky. Really crazy. Still would say Kyle Lowry is the best one though. Kyle Lowry is so so stupid. It's it's genuinely crazy. Now versatility. Pro Pro is crazy on the versatility. Crazy. Trey Young versatility. Crazy versatility. Um, you want the double step back? James Harden. Good. Great. Great space creator. Great. Um, Kyrie is always in the game. Y'all already know how Curry be getting down. Zach Levine ain't terrible. Sidestep Jason Tatum. Um, Glenn Robinson ain't terrible. De uh, Dirk and Whiskey for the bigs. But, um, Devin Booker. I'm gonna be honest. Devin Booker is looking like that for real. It may be that one for the wings. Definitely gonna be going with, um, normal. If you're, uh, big, you're gonna go with normal Dirk. I see a lot of 16 plus going with Dirk, and they be really hooping with that joint. I'm gonna be honest. But, yeah, um, all I'm gonna say is, anything I just mentioned, you can use. All right, next is gonna be the lives. No, yes, you see a lot of, yes, yes, yes. I'm working on the layer video. I've been telling y'all for for too long that I'm gonna do this. I got this coming, stay tuned. But the best layer package in the game, before we get to that, we're gonna rank every single layer package in the game. That video is coming, so you do not have to worry. If you wanna do scoops, you see what it's doing. Default small. If you wanna do scoops, default small. If you wanna do scoops, default small. If you're doing scoops and you're not using default small, you are trolling. Um, another good one for scoops is, where is he? Where is he? Did I not buy it? Oh, I guess it's this. It would be fundamental. Fundamental has good scoops. The only thing is the scoops on this one, it's not like a, it's like a more of a floater than a scoop. I would still say default small is better, but yeah. Um, Curry has some decent scoops, but you're not putting that on for, you're not putting that on for scoops. James Harden is good for Euros, um, but the best one all around is probably Long Athlete still. Um, another good one is Ja Morant. A lot of people love Ja Morant. Ja Morant is like the best, it like combines pretty much all the best little ones. It has, has a little bit of Long Athlete, a little bit of Kyrie Irving, a little bit of Circus, a little bit John, it has a little bit of John Wall. Ja Morant has everything in one layer package. Now, the thing is, Ja Morant is like a budget Long Athlete. It doesn't take that 82 plus. 88 plus like long athlete 88 is the highest layup requirement for any layup package in the game John Morant has an 82 now a lot of the builds I showed you guys is 80 because look at most of these layups most of these layups is 80 plus Russell Westbrook is another one that's 82 Russell Westbrook does not deserve the 82 like Ja though Ja definitely deserves that 82 because it is pretty much a combination of a lot of these layup packages like jelly now um Circus is an 80 but Kyrie Irving is an 85 plus and you have to be 6 for 5 and below which is why I don't have it on this build but even still what i would say when it comes to the layer packages is the best one in the game long athlete Kyrie Irving, john morant circus i could mention more but that's really i'm gonna go over that's, those are the best ones easily then when it comes to the post animations this is pretty much last but not least i'm pretty sure i went over everything hopefully i'm not forgetting anything but yeah post fade animations um best one what else would it be kobe fade the mj fade whatever you want to call it best one in the game in my opinion if you want to go with a kobe fade this is gonna be one for you. It's literally the Kobe Bryant post fade. What else would you go for? Post hook, the best post hook in the game, in my opinion, is Joel B. This is the one I go with. I don't do post hooks. This is extremely toxic. Use this at your own risk. They did nerf hooks extremely hard since season one. But I will be honest, these are still very usable if you are skilled at doing it. I don't know what you're doing to be skilled at post hooks though, so I'ma just move on. And then last but not least, what else? The post hop shot, the best one in the game, Kobe Bean Bryant. What else would it even be? How did I click off? But yeah, Kobe Bean Bryant, and that's going to be the best post hop shot in the game. And that's going to be the best post square animations, the best big man animations in NBA 2K23. 
yeah if you guys want more of these animation videos i just recorded this full video in detail strictly for you christmas news but anybody else that really wanted to update on the six what i'm using when i'm on a guard six for four and under wing six for five to six nine and big six ten and up so yeah that's gonna be it if you guys want more like the video like the video subscribe if you're new turn on notifications share the video to anybody i mean anybody you think it would help without further ado it's your boy fitz and i'll do it man tell him to bring me my money yeah